we looked at the air standard cycle, and when we looked at that, that was a closed cycle where we were using air, but we can do an open system analysis, so we can have air and fuel come in, and we'll look at how to do that and what's involved. And first we'll look at an auto cycle, then we'll do an example with a diesel cycle. There is an example problem done in the text with the auto cycle as well. And so what we're going to assume, assume exhaust valves open, at bottom dead center. And so, let's look at what this is. It, it gives us a slightly better model of, for our the standard. So, so we have a PV diagram. We have bottom dead center, top dead center. And we'll have a one to two, no difference. From two to three, we'll have combustion. And we'll see what that looks like, but in this case, we're going to have fuel burn, but we're going to have it burn at constant pressure. We're going to then expand down to state four. And what we're going to do now is better model the exhaust temperature. And so what happens here is we're now going to have state five. So what happens when, if we had the piston cylinder, so if we look at the piston cylinder that we had, let's see what we have here. So I have the exhaust now, the piston's down here, the exhaust valve is open, but when it's open, the temperature T4 is inside, now it's expanding into the exhaust pipe, and when it expands, it drops down. This is at a higher pressure, right? P is, P is not down here, so I have to get it down to here. And when that happens, I have the expansion occur. And so this process, we have going to five. And so this indicates exhaust from engine. And if we were to, if we were to look at this on a TS diagram, we go one to two, isentropic, combustion, constant volume, we'd expand from three to four, and then we have four to five, and this is our atmospheric, the atmosphere. And here, what we have is we go over to six. So we're going to pull in here. What we have at this point, so when we look at an actual engine, the, the exhaust is pushed out, we're going to have the air coming in, but there's some unpurged products So what happens is not all the exhaust gets out, but the intake valve opens and I start pulling it in and I have mixing of the exhaust with the intake. So I'm going to have mixing of uh, intake air with the unpurged products. And so it increases the temperature, so then at state one, I'll have a slightly higher temperature, et cetera. Now, what happens is this is a more complicated analysis. It's complicated in the first place. And when I add, so if I look at example 13.5, it's going to be, it's an open auto cycle. It's an open auto cycle, and it's going to use different specific heats for the products. 
So there's specific peaks for air and products. Oh, specific heat for air and products are different. Such as K of air is 1.4, K of the product would be 1.3. And so we differentiate between that and with constant volume. So if I have constant volume combustion, I'm going to need the internal energy, I'm going to need U sub RP, and so I have to modify the heating value for this internal energy value. So we're going to have that as H sub RP minus RT. And so I need, these are the corrections that are done in example 13.5. So it's an open auto cycle, and you can read that. What I'm going to do next, which is not in the text, is to do an open diesel cycle analysis. So what I wanted to do next is problem 13.33, and then we'll do an open diesel cycle analysis. So you'll have it for the auto cycle, and you'll have your notes for the diesel cycle. So this is problem 13.33. So you may want to open the text stop the video, open the text, read the problem, and see what is being provided. I'll give you the info right here, but I'm not reading the problem statement. So I have an eight-cylinder diesel. It's 10 by 10 centimeters. It's running at 2,000 RPM. We're using C12H26. And we're going to use 80% excess air. We have the T1 is 310 Kelvin. P1 is 100 kPa. P2 is equal to 3 MPa. And for the products, We're going to use the K is 1.383. C sub P of the product is 1.048. C sub B of the product is equal to 0 0.7537. And so now we're going to go through the cycle analysis go through and find the state points, the fuel air ratio, go around and find everything possible. And, and so this will be a complete example that you can use in, as a reference for other problems. And so let's find, oh, let me draw, draw a little TS diagram here. So we have, a, at least we have some diagram that we can refer to. One to two. P will see combustion, three to four. Then we go down to five. And then this would be B will see. And this is the atmosphere. So V sub PD is equal to V1 minus V2 is equal to pi over 4 d squared, 0 0.1 squared times L, 0 0.1, times 8, 8 cylinders. And so we have that V sub PD is equal to 0 0.06283 cubic meters. So in terms of liters, this is about 63 liter engine. R is equal to V1 over V2 is equal to P2 over P1 
with the one over k. So that's equal to 3,000 over 100 to the 1 over 1.4, and that's equal to 11.4. So it's just a different way. Mostly you're given a compression ratio. In this case, that wasn't the case. So now what we want to be able to do is to find V1. So we know that V1 is equal to 11.4 V2. And I know that V1 minus V2, your V sub PD, is 0 0.006283 meters. I think we're missing, missing a zero over here. I missed the zero, so I'll go back and change it. The nice thing about the video is I can go back and you can do that and change your notes. And so now V2 is equal to three zeros, one, two, three, six, oh, four, one cubic meters, and V1 is equal to point zero zero six eight eight seven cubic meters. And what we're doing in this is we're neg neglecting the unpurged products of combustion. 